What is going on gamers? Avatrix here and I know what you guys are thinking. Where has Castle Clash been? Did you quit? What has been going on with Castle Clash? Well, coming uh, July, sometime in July, Castle Clash is going to be having its fifth anniversary. Yes, that means five years that this game has been going on and I have pretty much played this game for about five years because I believe I started that October after the game released so in a couple of months that means I'm gonna be playing this game for five years now for the questions the, I, get, I get a lot of questions on other videos whether it's Lords Mobile or Iron Throne whatever it may be uh, of uh, have I quit Castle Clash I have not quit Castle Clash as a matter of fact as you can already tell uh, I, I still play my account, I still log on to do my daily stuff, you know, sweep the dungeons, etc. I still do my guild wars, even though people out there have speculated that I don't or whatever. And that's one of the things, like, the Castle Clash community, it has been my experience that even if there is a small rumor, a lot of people take it as fact, without any actual fact, and that's really been a turnoff for me. Uh, about a year ago, I did say that I would be looking towards doing different things with my channel and that's what I did. I started uploading Lords Mobile videos and now it's to the point where Lords Mobile video is actually getting more views and more support on my channel. So, Castle Clash for five years, give or take a couple of months now, I've been playing it and there is such a thing as getting a little burnt out. So, I didn't want to upload videos and just pushing videos out there without actually feeling like I was uh, fulfilling my end of being entertaining etc giving you good content so I've kind of been taking a bit of a break um, I feel like Castle Clash has been in this kind of cycle for way too long where every update is pretty much uh, it's pretty easy to see what's coming and it's there's always any brand new hero uh, nowadays they're coming out with a ton of different talents that make the old ones kind of less useful and there's just been a lot of stuff that's been added that haven't really added too much to the game other than just trying to make your hero stronger in different ways and with new heroes etc it's just been it hasn't been a really fun cycle especially if you've been playing the game as long as I have for four almost five years now Another thing is the bazaar. One of the main... Let me just say this. The system now is way better than when we started playing. Where you buy gems, you have to roll hero and, and hope for the best. With this, you actually know exactly what you're gonna get. Plus the gems that you can do whatever you want with. But the downside is... If you get a brand new hero the first couple of days that it's released. Whether you roll them or you get them from the bazaar, a month later, the actual value of said hero is gonna be down like 500%. Like, this hero, not too long ago, probably a couple weeks ago, was being sold by for about $400. Now it's down to $99.99. Give it a couple weeks and you'll probably see it in the $50 pack. So, the, the issue is that the hero's not holding any sort of value whatsoever also makes you not really want to buy it because there, you know that in a couple of weeks you're going to get it cheaper and it's just it's just been this crazy cycle like this guy right here is twenty dollars a couple of months ago he was at least a hundred dollars so it's just this cycle that with the heroes and all of that it's it's been really really uh exhausting i guess you can say and as you can tell by my heroes altar I do not have any skins and that'll tell you pretty much how long I've gone being free to play. I'm actually going on a year now being completely free to play and for being completely free to play and only missing, how many heroes am I missing now? Let's see, I'm maybe missing about six heroes after a year of completely being free to play. That means that there's at least 12 heroes that came out during that time. So, it hasn't been all bad, and uh, I'm still doing everything that, that you would normally do, log in, finish your guild wars, you know, etc. Your, your, uh, your here be monster sweep and all that. And eventually, 
uh, I'll go ahead and come back and try to beat here be monsters the dungeons and all that um, but as of right now I'm just kind of uh, I'm, I'm on cruise control if you will but that does not mean that I've quit the game that does not mean that I'm gonna quit the game uh, it's just I needed a breather I needed like a little break and uh, that way when I do start uploading Castle Clash on the daily again it's gonna be with a refreshed mind and not completely burnt out by playing the game for almost five years so that's where it stands right now that's where I am with Castle Clash I'm just kinda taking a step back getting a little breather still playing but not having to worry about okay what am I gonna upload today you know and having to force content out there when the excitement really isn't there so that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm, I'm right now, as you can already tell, the channel is mainly focused on Lords Mobile and Iron Throne, but predominantly Lords Mobile because that is the game that I'm enjoying the most right now. Uh, so we'll see how it goes from there. But if you guys give me some ideas down in the comment section, uh, but I can still do some uh, some good Castle Clash videos and uh, informational videos and maybe catching up. Maybe that'll be a nice little series to do, like just coming back and try to catch up with here be monsters and dungeons and all of that good stuff um, but as of right now I'm just kind of chilling just uh, enjoying the game for what it is and eventually I'll come back better and stronger so for all of you that have been asking me where Castle Clash has been this is this is the status right now um, in the, the in the fifth year anniversary uh, we, we will see about doing uh, like a like a giveaway because five years, I mean five years, especially for a mobile game, that is quite a lot to be um, still pretty popular, still pretty populated. And even though, it's funny because even though when IGG posts something on their Facebook or their Twitter or any social media, a lot of the uh, comments that you see are negative. It's funny because a lot of these people that have been posting negative things are still playing the game. So whether you like it or not, it, that only means that IGG has made such a fun game that you can talk crap about it, but you still log on every day and you still find joy because here we all are still, correct? So that's, that's where I'm at. Five years, just taking a, a little break and we'll come back bigger and stronger but yeah appreciate you guys for watching and hopefully you guys understand um because that's that's just the truth i'm not gonna sugarcoat it it is what it is and hopefully you guys understand where i'm coming from but yeah like i said appreciate you guys for watching and until later bye